CataractCoach.com. Now you notice the capsule wrinkles. The Tripan Blue reveals capsule wrinkles and intercapsule fibrosis. So here's the pre-op. Look in there. It's not real obvious. Sometimes with these white cataracts, you can't see too much detail of the anterior lens capsule. But once you put the Tripan Blue dye in, now take a look. Fibrotic lens capsule. You see the wrinkles of the lens capsule? Tearing a capsule rex is not going to be easy because it gets stuck there at those fibrotic bands. So cutting in again and trying to enlarge this. Now, you can just do a larger rexus and then overlap those bands. So you can see, oh, see that arrow? It starts to run out a little bit, but certain does a great job of rescuing that. So continuing along here, grabbing that capsule, good-looking rexus. Again, it's going to be a little more generous than typical because you want to get around the fibrotic bands. It also has a tendency to run out, as you're seeing here. So there we go, a little bit of a, a little maneuver. And now pulling back again for another little maneuver. There you go. But luckily, woo, saved it. So that's very common for these fibrotic capsular bags. You can definitely see that fibrotic, fibrotic area prevents you from getting a completely normal rexus. Now, cleaning it up, let's see the technique here. Probably going to be a chop technique. There we go. Buzzing with the Faco probe, chopper going in and splitting that nucleus. Ooh, there you go. Nicely done. Good amount of density here. You can see it's a little fibrotic, rotating the nucleus again. Buzz in and get that first ch uh, chop all the way propagated through. See how it's a little adherent there? You want to break those bands? That's it. Once those bands are broken, you have two fully separated pieces, then it's easy to manipulate them. Remember, if you still have a few adherent little bands there, even if your chop's 90% of the way through, you're not going to separate the pieces. So we'll just fast forward to the video here. Certain does a great job of chopping this up. But that's the secret there. You got to be careful. Some of these white cataracts on the pre-op exam and the slit lamp, hard to see exactly what's going on. Now, we featured a video here on cataract coach before of a surprise pseudo exfoliation. You get a white cataract. You don't see any material, pseudo X material, the slit lamp, because it's just all white. But then you put the tripan blue dye in, and wow, the pseudo exfoliation material lights up. So same with this case, pre-op, very difficult to tell if there's anything going on with the capsule. But when you put the tripan blue dye in, you can tell right away. Now, taking out the rest of the lens material. Now, sometimes in these cases, you could also have fibrotic posterior capsule. Luckily, in this case, that's not the, the situation. So now, removing the rest of the cortex, you can have adherent little bits, like you see here, of lens material stuck to the back side of the anterior lens capsule. You know, it's no harm. If you can't really get them all out, Leaving them behind and just dealing with the post-op inflammation is also reasonable. There's some stuff you can see there near the main phaco incision. Let's get the lens in the capsular bag. So nicely done with our surgeon here. Even though that rexus wanted to run out, surgeon was able to complete a beautifully round and intact capsular rexus. Now, if it doesn't overlap the optic fully, you know, that's really of no concern. It's not that big of a deal. This patient's going to have a miraculous outcome, starting off with probably hand motion or light perception vision, and then going to absolutely great vision in the course of a beautiful surgery like this. So leave a comment below if you've had cases with the fibrotic anterior lens capsule. And check out our teaching website. Such great material. I promise. Check it out. You'll learn so much. And it's all free.